What is up YouTube? This is Ash Tio of the Oval Yugi League bringing you a McDonald's promo video. Now for those who don't know what McDonald's promo is, it's a 15 card set that originally came in Happy Meals back in 2002. The promotion started in December 20th, 2002 and it was an exclusive to America. Uh, you also got some extra items which I'll be going through in a minute. You're probably wondering why it says 110% in the video title. That's because I've got some extra items at the end which are to do with the promotion. Which are very rare and somehow I got quite cheap probably because no one knows what they are or even wants them. But yeah, it's quite cool stuff. So I'll be going through each of the cards. There are two Ultras, three Supers and the rest are in common. So first up we have Melanium Shield. It is an Earth level 6 warrior. Zero attack, 3000 defense. It's a normal, so it has a flavour text of a Millennium item. It's rumoured to block any strong attack. I mean, 3,000 defence is quite good. This thing I do believe was actually used in some sort of weird deck many years ago. Um, it's in a lot of these super or ultras are in a little bit rough condition, but a card that's 15 years old that came in a Happy Meal with a greasy burger and has survived this long. I'll give it credit. So um, yeah, a lot of these are owned by kids, so they tend to get roached. You tend to only get perfect ones if somehow, by some random reason, you've got actual uh, McDonald's promo packs. So that's Millennium Shield. Um, I've got these in pack order, so this is MP1-001. This is one of the few cards in the set that I believe has actually had a reprint, which was in Yugi's World, but it had a different artwork. And I think it came in a common. Next up is Cosmo Queen. Not part of the Cosmo deck, because that's with a K, like Mortal Kombat. This is a Dark Spellcaster, level 8, 2,900 attack, 2,450 defense. So this is actually one of the better stacked cards for the tributes and for in this whole set, really. You'll notice a trend with tribute monsters and terrible stats and terrible effects as we go on. Its flavor text is Queen of the Galaxies and Mistress to the Stars, or of the Stars. Well, the nicer hours, this is the last actual card of the set that I needed. You probably saw it in a video a little while back. If you haven't, it came with some extra goodies. I would suggest to go watch the video. Millennium Shield was the first, one well, of the first cards from the set I actually owned. Next up is Goddess of Whim, the first super of the set. It's a light fairy, level 3, 950 attack, 700 defense. And... Its effect is toss a coin, call heads or tails. If you call it right, this card's attack's doubled. Call it wrong, it's halved. So you end up with a 1900 attack monster, which isn't too bad for a level 3 fairy. Now, um, a lot of you that are fans of the Japanese cards and censorship, this card did have a lot of side boob in the original artwork. And I think a bit of cleavage as well. That's obviously been changed because Konami, censorship, all that, all that stuff really. Next up is Frog the Jam, probably one of the most famous cards from the set. Recently this card was going for about 30 odd quid. Reason being it could be used in decks with Totally Awesome. Because it's a level 2 Aqua and it works very well with it because you can just... Uh, what's, what's the card? Rescue Rab Edit. So it's a Water Aqua, level 2, 700 attack, 500 defense. This card has been errated, meaning that the name has changed to Slime Toad. And it doesn't exactly make sense in the, phrase, in the flavor text now because the flavor text is a slime with the head of a frog. It attacks by croaking terribly. So you have a slime toad, unless they've changed the new flavor text. So it says uh, with the head of a toad. But otherwise it's still a head of a frog from, what, from my knowledge. I've got a few of these. This was one of the last commons I needed actually and I got it for fairly cheap. I uh, went with one of my judges going halves on a set that we found online. Next up is Yoranzo. For those who have seen the anime, the Duke Deblin bit with Dungeon Dice Monsters does include Yoranzo. So it's a Dark Zombie, level 4, 1300 attack, 1500 defense. It's a, with the flavor text of, a treasure box containing a monster that attacks any unwary bandit. Oh, it's quite cool, and this is probably one of my favorite cards of the set because it just reminds me of the Dungeon Dice Monsters set. Um, being also something that an actual game that I did want when I was really young and the actual set being very difficult to get 
to the point where I've only got one because it's in German and we bought it for cheaper at a boot sale. Somehow a German copy made it all the way to the southwest of England. Next, uh, Tacraminos. Is this the second or third super? This is the second super because the uh, third one comes a lot later. Uh, I bought two of these for really cheap as well. Um, a lot of the sets quite cheap because it's just nothing, not playable. Like the only thing playable is Frog the Jam, and you can get them reasonably priced now because it had a reprint in OTS. So it's a level four water sea serpent, 1500 attack, 1200 defense, with the flavor text of a member of the race of sea serpents that freely travels through the sea. Oh, it's kind of cool, but flavor text lets it down. But it's very nice shiny actually for super. So on to um, number seven, stuffed animal. A Earth Warrior, level 3, 1200 attack, 900 defense. This card's very well known for being a weird... Well, being a warrior. It shouldn't be a warrior. It should be a beast. Because it doesn't really make sense being a warrior, but... Okay. The flavor text says, It may look like a harmless stuffed animal, but its zipper's mouth deals a deadly bite. And apparently that's a warrior, not a beast. Megasonic Eye. A Dark Machine, level 5, 1500 attack, 1800 defense. Made of a mysterious metal, the monster is a doomsday machine from the edge of the universe. With those stat lines, it's not much of a doomsday machine, really. Yamadron, another level 5. Uh, Fire Dragon, 1600 attack, 1800 defense. This monster has three fire-breathing heads and can form a sea of blazing flames. Three-legged zombie. For those who play zombies, you should recognize this card because this later uh, drinks drinks some uh, silly juice and becomes Unizombie, a much merrier version of Three-Legged Zombie, which is a lot better and a lot more playable. This is a Dark Zombie, level 3, 1100 attack, 800 defense, a pair of friendly skeletons. Skeletons. Uh, one lean and fat that travel extremely difficultly. For being a three-legged zombie, I can only see two legs. Uh, I guess caught in translation somewhere, maybe? I, I don't know. Um, Flying Penguin. This is another weird card that's actually seen some play in time. It's a Aqua Water level 4 with 1200 attack, 1000 defense. A very rare penguin that takes to the air with ears shaped like wings. Now there is actually a penguin archetype that this thing's used in and it can be used to summon Bahamut Shark which again goes into Totally Awesome. So a lot of these McDonald's promo cards ended up as Totally Awesome abuse. But this is probably one of my, this is another one of my card favourites out of this which I think should have been Super. I have tried to get a Super and an Ultra one in Japan or from Japan but I've never been able to buy one. So it's something that I want to get for my collection. Next is Fairy's Gift. A light spellcaster, and I'm surprised that it's not a fairy. Level 4, 1400 attack, 1000 defense. This flying monster is known for delivering happiness to all. Again, I think this came in Super and Ultra in Japan with... I think it has been censored as well, but I can't really remember. Again, a lot, a lot of Japan stuff's um, from, compared to over here censored. I might have to do a video on just censorship cards, because I've got a few now that I've been collecting over the years. Ushioni, this was used, it was used by an anime villain, I can't remember who, um, it might have been something in 5Ds I think, I don't know, um, this is a level 6 Dark Fiend, 2150 attack, 1950 defense, good year, good year, a Bull Fiend restored by the Dark Arts, this monster appears out of a jar. Oh, that's quite cool. Uh, that's about it. Stats again, mediocre for a level 6. Um, next is Turtle Bird. Getting to the last two cards. Again, another level 6 with terrible stat line. Water Aqua, 1900 attack, 1700 defense. An unusual turtle that not only swims at tremendous speeds, but can also sail across the skies. It reminds me of Gamera, which later became a card of Gamma Seal. A Gamera being one well, of the sort of um, kaiju, like Japanese kaijus, and also the card kaiju. 
And last but not least, Dark Piercing Light. Uh, the last super of the set. For some reason, supers in this are in a really weird order. The only... Actually, it's the only spell out of the set, or magic card, because back, uh, back when this was printed, Magic the Gathering hadn't tried to sue Konami for using the word magic. Yeah, the only spell in the set... Um, flip all your opponent's face down monsters on the field face up. The effect of all the effects will all activate at this time. Now, this card again has seen play mostly in Empty Jar, which is an old mill deck using Morphing Jar, hence why Morphing Jar is banned. I got this card, because this is one of the only real ones with the story. I got this card when I was going to I was it Optimus Convention in Bristol about a year or two ago with my girlfriend dressed as Asgore from Undertale and she was dressed as Toriel and we actually managed to get in one of the newspapers I remember picking this card up for about a quid which wasn't too bad I mean it's about two pound now really but it's it's not bad it's not a bad card for a quid yeah so last but not least onto the mystery item it, it's a parcel and this I'll zoom out a little bit. Is what you would have got your Happy Meal in back in the promotion in 2002. Yes, this is one of the original bags. Also, the other one of the other items you would have got. There's one of four CDs that you would have got with this. Or oh, I say CDs. It's a um, PC disc or audio CD as well. It's you got the four different versions. There was Kaiba, Pegasus, Yugi, and Joey. It includes two exclusive. The um, so this was uh, with the promotion. Two exclusive trading cards featuring preview music from on the CD from the Yu-Gi-Oh CD. Music to Jewel by. Yeah. So for those who didn't know, with a lot of a bit of weird trivia, there is a Yu-Gi-Oh CD, an official soundtrack. And the one song I can always remember is World of Yu-Gi-Oh! Which was actually probably one of my favourite songs from the album. Because all the rest sound kind of meh. Um, there's some more information on the back, but this is actually sealed on there still. So as you can see, the um, back had Exodia on the front. Quite a menacing Exodia, actually. <laughs> um, apart from the new Happy Meal mascot guy, the weird box thing, I think this is the second creepiest uh, image on a Happy Meal bag. And on the back we have Yu-Gi-Oh! saying, you need more monsters. Uh, two exclusive Yu-Gi-Oh! trading cards and each Mighty Kids Meal. So I'm guessing in America they're not called Happy Meals, they're called Mighty Kids Meals. Yeah, so this is the McDonald's extra 10%. Technically it would be 125% because there's four of these in total and I've got one. Try to track down the CDs is very difficult because people ask ridiculous money for them even though you can't really use them apart from the mediocre artwork on the front. But the fact I managed to actually get a... Th this hasn't even got grease stains on it. The guy must have literally found it in a box somewhere, like a storage box somewhere that he got whilst he was working it. There's, it doesn't smell like burgers. That's the weirdest thing. It doesn't smell like burgers. There's no grease stains. It's brand new. Apart from a small tear on the top, but again, it's 15 years old, you've got to give it credit. So, until the next weird episode of Yobel Yu-Gi-Oh! League, see you about.